Good morning. Good morning, little guy. So I was taking pictures of some chipmunks out in the back and just came in to get to work. And then all of a sudden, oh, there's the blue jay. You guys, oh, there he goes. Oh, he flew away again. But all of a sudden I hear this chittering, this rapid fire, almost machine gun sound chittering. And I look out the window and there's a red squirrel sitting on my porch. And he was just going like rapid fire, letting everybody know about it. It was the coolest thing. Red squirrels are so shy around here that you almost never see them. And I dove for the camera and he ran off before I could get any video of him to show you guys. But I figured out why he was chittering a second later when I heard the red tail hawks make a few cries as they went by. But now that I saw the blue jay, I actually wonder if it was the blue jay who was making those calls that startled the red squirrel so that the blue jay could come down and try to grab some of the seeds on the deck instead of the red squirrel. They will do that. They will mimic the more predatory bird species in order to have their chance of being able to have the seeds that something may be eating or chase some uh, competition away from a food resource and that's just so fun. But what an awesome way to wake up. Man, my backyard is just humming with life now that spring is here. Ah, check this out. Chips is making a soup for dinner. He put it in the crock pot. I totally forgot I asked him for one of his amazing lentil soups yesterday, but then I heard him making a ton of noise in the kitchen. And not only was he cleaning the kitchen, but he has started us a delicious vegan crock pot soup. I just feel like I have to say vegan all the time to let you guys know that yes, all of this deliciousness is going to be 100% vegan. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done in a few hours. But that's just really cool of him. I totally forgot I asked him if he could make a soup. And that's going to be awesome because now I don't have to worry about dinner. And I'll have a nice hot meal later. And that means I can focus on getting some work done. Lunchtime. Going to have a yummy PBJ sandwich playing Russian roulette with bread as always. Orange and some almond milk. Flower petals. We up to your little cart. Gosh, I love fairy garden stuff. It's just adorable. Those are kind of cool. That might be fun to make on the stream one day. Friendship bird card. I would send everybody friend bird cards if I could. <laughs> Why? Well, because. It might go off even if it hasn't just oh. And then you're going to have some really pissy customer. Oh, so if this is red, then that you know somebody that, threw your or box. Or at least that thinks it does. That's funny. See some? I think it's what I've got in my hand. You think so? There's a whole bunch of them over here. Oh my god, they're 70 $80. They're $80? For oh man, no. many, yeah. I'm learning so many things about how to ship merchandise out. Gracious. Oh, this is more like it. Future joy journals. Future joy journals. My dream is to learn how to make joy journals that we could put in our Etsy shop. That would be amazing. Handmade joy journals even. Mm, they're all right. But I don't think these are really what would qualify as joy journals, darling. I need to start making my own joy journals, huh? Being able to encourage people to really try out some joy. That'll be my next merchandise goal, I guess. I can't believe these little shopping baskets. You can hold them by the handle like normal, but then they also have this little like roly-poly thing and it reminds me of walking your dog around. It's like we have our own little, oh, now I want to name it. Do I need to get myself home and back to creating? Yeah, I think I need to go home soon. Now I get to decide what I want to smell like while we're in Taiwan. Is it going to be a rebalancing plum or an advanced restorative uh, dragon fruit? I can't even tell what that's supposed to be. It's just so funny because we were just over, ooh, well, peaches. I do like peaches. At Chips' side of the store. I mean, I guess I could get men's deodorant too, and it's so straightforward. And these ones, I'm like, can you just tell me what to do? Well, I do admit I like smelling nice. Ooh, passion tango, huh. I think the marketing may have worked on me. I'm pretty sure I only went for this one because it has peaches on the front. 
and because it smells like peaches, and I love peaches, <laughs> and any of them, even the cheaper ones would have done well, but I really like peaches. Hey, this is relevant to my interest. Maybe I will pick this up, Special Collector's Edition, and we might learn some fun new animal facts to share with everybody on zoo crafting or inspire new episodes. Oh, I wonder if we're ever going to be able to get koalas in the mod. That would be amazing. His name is Ko Inu Chan. So? Yeah, little puppy. So Chips and I just got back from doing a little bit of shopping and we needed to mail off some more posters and look for more poster labels, which spoilers are about three times cheaper at, um, <laughs> at Amazon than they are at Staples. And we also went and got some medicines and just some of like the basic toiletries for the trip. So I'm pretty excited because it's really happening. Only four more days and then we are gonna be headed off to Taiwan. And he was really funny. While we were walking around the drugstore, he asked like, Gavel, you know what we're gonna be doing a week from now? And I was like, are we gonna be riding the gondola? Are we gonna be seeing the Taipei Zoo? Are we gonna be drinking green tea, eating yummy food? And he looked at me and he's like, nope, exactly a week from now, we're gonna be asleep because it's gonna be like one in the morning. So <laughs> this is gonna be really, really fun, guys. Ah, the beautiful lily of the valley flowers. I love that we have so many of them in our front yard. They're just all over the place here. And I wish, I wish, I wish I already had the resin jewelry stuff set up because I was going to turn some of these blossoms into some really pretty like dangle earrings and pendants and all sorts of things, but they're already done. Oh, I'll have to move faster next year. And who knows, I'm not sure if they'll rebloom at a later point in the year, but hopefully by next year when they bloom, I will be ready with new skills to transform these into gorgeous pieces of jewelry. Look at how cool my yard mushrooms are today. I can't believe they've grown so much already. <laughs> and the ones that were there yesterday are gone. I swear, the squirrels come and eat these at a record pace. It's amazing. And these get so big. These guys weren't here yesterday and you can already see where there's actual bite marks and claw marks. Yeah, look, look, look. You can see the super deep bite mark almost as deep as one of my first little knuckles <laughs> that the squirrels have been taking off of these. So I'm glad they're enjoying them, but it's so much fun to see this cool little compost pile just look different every single day with all sorts of cool new mushrooms to look at. Chips and I got Father's Day cards for our respective fathers, and we found this cool one for my dad that I really love, and it even has this really awesome envelope that has a cool oak leaf on the back. And my dad has always been just such a strong person in my life and truly a golden-hearted good man. And so I saw this and I was like, this is the one. <laughs> this is totally the one for him. So we got this one for him. I love the little envelope it comes in. And then we got my mom a card because she's such a crafty little person and she is always on Pinterest. My sister and I had to have an intervention to teach her how to like desync her Pinterest and her Facebook because we would get spammed with so many pins all day long. But she loves coming up with all of these crafts ideas and I've just always loved all the crafts that she made for us when we were kids and <laughs> really worked hard to throw us fun birthday parties and I'm pretty sure I got some of my crafty inspiration from her so when we saw this chips laughed and he's like it's your mom so I'm gonna send this one to her as well so both my parents can get a fun card in the mail ah uh, it does have the wild rice but the beans don't have little stripes anymore <laughs> I think it's gonna be delicious. Thank you, darling. Look at that. Oh, we're gonna have a good dinner tonight. All right, because you guys have been asking to see more of my fancy vegan cooking, I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite recipes for spicing up um, pretty much any green beans you could ever dream of. This is to make Parmesan cheese, vegan style, and I actually love pouring it on top of green beans, but I think it's gonna be really good on the soup later too, and you can use it on so many things, including like Parmesan, garlic, uh, bread sticks, which some people use to make it, and it is indeed vegan, even though I keep saying cheese, and Parmesan and you make it out of cashews so I have about a cup of cashews here we have uh, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast that we have right over here we're gonna be mixing it with a little bit of garlic powder about a fourth a teaspoon of garlic powder and as much sea salt to taste and all you have to do with those very simple ingredients is dump them right in here Wink. 
And once you put them all into the blender, you just start the blender and blend it up into a really fine powder. And you will have an absolutely amazing topping to so many different vegetables. It transforms the most boring broccoli in, into a delicious gourmet meal. Voila! And within seconds, it is done. And now we have some delicious vegan Parmesan cheese to put on top of my fresh boiled green beans. Ta-da! And there it is! It's delicious, I promise you guys! This is a really fantastic way to eat green beans. If you guys struggle to like eat your vegetables or you want an alternative to sprinkle on top of your soup or something, that Parmesan cheese that's made out of cashews nutritional yeast, which nutritional yeast does not sound good, but I promise you it's really delicious in recipes, it's fantastic. I love eating green beans, but eating green beans with that vegan Parmesan cheese on it just is so yummy. It is one of my favorite meals. I've been going through like two pounds of green beans a week. Chips thinks it's hilarious because they're my new favorite snack. So his soup is not yet ready, so I thought, why not make some green beans? And while I was checking our little uh, Parmesan cheese supply, I just keep the Parmesan cheese uh, stuffed inside of like an old jam jar. I noticed it was low and I thought, hey, I might show you guys just really quickly how to whip that together. You need a pretty good blender for it, otherwise you end up with like cashew chunks and those really aren't quite what you're going for. You want something pretty like fine in consistency. I probably could have even ground these up for longer, but I kind of like it a teeny bit chunky and it's really yummy. You definitely want to add salt to taste though, because if you don't add enough salt, it really lacks a lot of the flavor. But you don't want to add too much because you still want to try to keep it in the semi-healthy range. But it's really yummy, so I highly encourage you guys to try it if you can get your hands on some cashews and a really good blender. Oh, and nutritional yeast, which is really cheap and you can find like anywhere now, which I think is pretty cool. But I am exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Quick segue into that. I know my vlogging has been kind of like scattered today and I'm still getting in the habit of vlogging and daily vlogging demands a different kind of uh, skill and it works different creative muscles uh, than being able to sit down and just do the gameplay recording that we normally do. Um, so I'm sorry if this has been a little bit scattered. I'm just exhausted. We were up very late last night doing work. I was wrapping up some of the posters. There's only nine posters left as of this exact moment. And I'm just like, my mind is totally blown with that. And there's only nine left. We were up late working on them and I'm trying to gently shift my schedule towards Taiwan time, which is going to be exactly 12 hours from my time. Like I mentioned earlier, it is about 6 PM here, uh, closing in on 6 p.m. here which means it's about 6 a.m. there so maybe it's a good thing that I'm really snoozy right now and that I'm really tired because I would be getting ready to wake up and I did really well and I was like cool I stayed up till almost 2 in the morning that would be almost 2 p.m. in Taiwan that's awesome uh, maybe by the time we get there I'll be able to adjust to it really well and then I forgot about the fact that the birds are so beautifully noisy outside at <laughs> this time of year <laughs> and I love birds so instead of waking up up at like 10 or 11 like I thought I was going to I woke up at 7 on the dot because the robins and cardinals were singing and I just was immediately awake because I love listening to them and normally I come upstairs and open my office window and lean out it and count chipmunks and birds and take pictures until I start my work day and so my body was like yay birds and, and I've only got a few hours of sleep so not yay <laughs> And I am not the type of person to be able to nap easily, but we're gonna soldier on. I'm gonna eat my green beans I'm going to make some fresh tea and hopefully I'll be able to get a lot of videos recorded today um, Today I was really grateful. I haven't recorded anything yet, but videos have still gone out very grateful for that the days where I can have a little bit of breathing room because there's been things scheduled and they're up and good to go they make all the difference. And I remember when scheduling first became something you could do on YouTube, people would get really offended at the idea that the episode they were seeing was not recorded that day. And it really intimidated me at the time because I didn't want to upset people. But the reality of it is for myself and most uh, all of the youtubers that I know being able to pre-record by recording a few days like ahead <laughs> and then releasing it using the schedule feature uh, online gives you that buffer space to breathe and it's so amazing and so today I was able to get some buffer space because I already had most of the things done for the day and it was really awesome because I woke up and instead of jumping right back into work like I always do I was able to go oh 
everything's good niche is going up everything's good and i can just take it easy this morning and so i have been i've been organizing cleaning doing more laundry and making sure things are good chips and i went and did a bunch of errands to make sure we have the uh medications and things that we'll want to have on hand when we go to taiwan it's actually got one of the like best medical systems in the world so we're not really worried it's just nifty to have some like tummy medicine or some pain medicine on hand when you need it instead of having to figure out how to get to the nearest 7-eleven or something so we grabbed some of those some toiletries we did some um just like errands paying off bills and paying ahead on bills so that they'll be covered while we're gone and oh also a package arrived for me that chips got me he got me some Rollet stickers. Isn't that adorable? Some Rollet stickers for Lilypad, my laptop. So I'm going to be decorating Lilypad with these Rollet stickers that Chips got for me, which was so sweet. And then he also got a new Joy Journal for me. Isn't this awesome? It is a Rollet Joy Journal, and it even has some of the other Pokemon on it too. But he saw it, and he got it for me so that I could have another Joy Journal for Taiwan. And that's just amazing. I'm going to have to show you guys my joy journal collection for summer my mom sent me one for my birthday and i picked up a couple others uh does that make four so now i have four joy journals for taiwan i'm not sure if i'm gonna need all of them but i kind of want to bring all of them so i'll show you guys those after i eat my delicious green beans guys turned out i just needed to take a nap I never nap, but it was such a beautiful day and Chips had the downstairs door open and we were listening to the birds. And the next thing you know, I think I fell asleep for like two or three hours and it was a really great nap and I feel totally refreshed now. I was able to wake up and get an Untold Tales made, which is totally awesome because I know that people really love Untold Tales. And it's so satisfying to be able to complete things. I was thinking about that earlier. Why do I make so many videos? And there's definitely a financial element that I've talked about in the last few days to it, but it's also because people get so happy and they get so excited. And when it goes up and it's a series I wouldn't have thought is someone's favorite, but inevitably there's someone out there who that's their favorite series. The Ultimate Jungle Simulator that I've been putting out just kind of to, to just feel things out. And, it's apparently so many people's favorite series and probably those of you here on the vlog channel are more into the things that I would naturally gravitate more towards myself and like my personal watching taste which would be like Sims or Sturdy Valley or Zoo Crafting those kinds of things that create a little bit more of a bond between the creator and their person I, I don't like to call them like the viewer you guys are like my friends hanging out with me, watching me create stories. It's a very interesting dynamic that I respect and cherish a lot. So I don't like to use like really, really objective terms that make us all feel like we're super far apart because I often feel like I am closer to my community, our community, which is why I always say our community, than a lot of other people in my life. You guys understand my hopes and dreams and struggles a lot more than even a lot of family members not because they don't care about me but because you're in the trenches with me every day as we go on our adventures and i really cherish that so that's one of the reasons i love being able to wake up and go i have a little bit of energy and create something that i know is going to make somebody happy because it's their favorite and sure enough untold tales has been very well received tonight even though i accidentally called uh apple star a corn star hmm <laughs> You can always rely on an audience of thousands to catch you when you flub your words, but that's okay. It's something you learn to just cope with. But anyway, speaking of audiences and communities, I'm actually spending the time I wrote down all over on all of my little notepads, work on Patreon before end of month. I've been saying I'm going to do it, people have been asking me to do it, and I think it's just my concern that I won't build something that respects my community and yet doesn't overwhelm me at the same time. When I first had a patron a long time ago, I got totally overwhelmed with it because I kind of built it to be more like a shop. I felt like I had to give something tangible to someone for the, the exchange we were having here. And it overwhelmed me and I ended up closing my patron down because it was more 
work in a not so great way and that overwhelmed me it, it, i treated it kind of like an etsy shop or a merchandise shop and not like a place to try to build a community and unite a community so this time around i'm trying to come at constructing it in a way that's going to encourage the growth of a community being able to share private videos with you guys or private like hangout live streams where we'll be able to answer some of your questions in like real time and it's a much more close-knit group that way and as we grow bigger on the main channel as a community there's something very appealing for my heart about that too to know that there might be that little spot where we can all kind of meet and where because of the support of those people I can justify stepping away from the rush and the crowd and the go 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 of all the other videos to create and even just kind of gently putting those to the side and turning and getting to spend some time in the the bubble of peaceful space where I can feel okay with having to let a video or two go in exchange for being able to be with this group and build a deeper community. To me that's what the Patreon is going to be about this time is leaning back into the support of the people who come into it so that we can build a community. So I feel a lot better about it from this point of view, but that's why I've kind of put it off and been nervous. It's not a merchandise store. It's not something to be transaction and exchange. It's to be a place to build a community and to weave that into the main channel, to weave that into my daily life, to weave that hopefully into some of your guys' daily lives. And I am really excited and really trying to make sure that I treat this with respect. So right now, I am looking up tons of patrons of people who I really respect, people who I really enjoy, and uh, people who I'm actually a patron of. <laughs> like, I, I have quite a few. I have two accounts, one for our channel, which is like in progress right now, and one that's private that is like based off my real name, and I scuttle around and I have several people that I support on Patreon, and I really... <laughs> enjoy that and I don't expect anything of the people I support. I'm just happy to do it because I like them, I like what they do, and I hope that they have a good life and can continue doing what brings them joy. So yeah, <laughs> why do I always think about really serious things at night? And thank you guys so much for all of your kind comments over my rambles. Like I said, I've been working through quite a few very deep thoughts and reading your guys' comments about watching me live out joy. Renee, I'm really thinking about you in this too. And Jacqueline, you too. But watching your guys' comments come in and thinking about how there's people out there, and I am one of those people too, who watch vlogs to see people have the opportunity to live out their joy because it inspires me to try to live out joy in my own way, to try new things, to try preparing new foods or going on that adventure. I've done a lot of things when I look back in my life now over the last few years since I've started watching YouTube. Uh, I, almost, I started watching YouTube about the same time I started a YouTube channel, so it's not nearly as long as some people have been watching YouTube. But there's a lot of things I've done in my life I probably wouldn't have done if I hadn't seen people go out and do it. I really feel like a lot of our our lives as humans are very monkey see, monkey do. And so reading your guys' comments really helped me kind of realize that maybe it's less about feeling guilty about my opportunities and more about just being grateful, contributing back to the world how I can, and being just in it, just living it and showing people that it's possible. And maybe that's kind of where I need to just focus on my energy. Not tearing myself up about it, not feeling guilty about it. I do work really hard to take care of my family with the opportunities that I'm given. That's the entire reason I work so hard. But maybe I should try to carve out a little bit of that reason to also be just to experience joy. So thank you for your comments. It helped me gain a lot of perspective of not dwelling so much on the guilt of it. <laughs> and I don't know where I'm gonna go with that. But I'm going to do my best. I'm going to try to just live out joy and share it with you guys. And I think that's a good step. So on that note, joy journals! I wanted to show you guys the joy journals that I have for Taiwan. I showed you guys earlier today the Rowlet joy journal, and I'm very excited about that. Uh, I'm really, really touched that Chip saw it and got it for me. Isn't that the best? I've already put my Rowlet stickers down on Lilypad, and they look completely awesome. Lilypad is getting quite covered in stickers now. But the... 
joy journal that I'm currently using is this bird one that Chips actually gave me for Christmas this year. And I started writing in it at the beginning of April. And to my dismay, it is not full yet. Normally I go through a joy journal a month, but I have about this much left in my joy journal because of the few weeks where I became just so overworked and overwhelmed and sick and pretty depressed actually and that was completely uncharacteristic of me but it's really interesting when you've kept a joy journal where you just the goal is just to write three joy moments a day no matter how sucky my day has been there have been days I've been at funerals of family members and I still actually found more to write about in that day and reflecting on like how important they were to me or how kind people were at the service than you would think. You would think you wouldn't be able to write in a joy journal on the day when you go to a funeral, but they are actually some of my most precious and beautiful memories to go back and read. On days where I'm sick, I'm able to write in what I'm grateful for about the fact that I have clean water. <laughs> like even those little things can build up into an amazing life of gratitude. So I've been keeping joy journals for many years now and one of the things that happens when you have that goal of writing three joy moments a day is when suddenly you're not writing in your joy journal you know something's very wrong so this is kind of my canary in the minefield of my mental health of knowing when I need to reevaluate what I'm up to if I haven't had time or the urge to write my joy journal it's time to reassess so that's the current one I'm working in I have a goal to try to finish it before we leave for Taiwan Hmm, only about four days left. I think I need to be a little bit more realistic. This one might be coming with us to Taiwan. And then I have three other joy journals that I'm taking to Taiwan. I'm not sure if I'll need all of these because that's four, four and like a, a quarter joy journals to take, but I think it'd be fun. Two of them I got myself. I got this animal one and all of these spiral joy journals are from Redbubble. I'm actually thinking about maybe getting some of our own stuff journal style on Redbubble. Like I was mentioning today while we were shopping, I really want to start making joy journals. And they seem to make pretty good quality, but I'm not sure what their cut is for the, the artist and what their cut is for the shop. So I have to look into that and find out what's the best quality and what's the best resource to be able to make you guys journals. But I do want to have that as an option. And so I like this one. It's Australian animals and we aren't going to Australia, but I thought it was nice and playful and will encourage me to go and search out many, many animals in Taiwan. Speaking of animals in Taiwan, panda. Not a red panda, uh, but a adorable panda panda. And there are pandas at the Taipei Zoo. We're hesitant, we don't know, because there's no AZA accreditation in Taiwan, how good the Taipei Zoo is, but we're gonna go at least once and give it a good look. It will be only a t like 30 minute gondola ride from our apartment that we'll be staying at. And that's closer than any other zoo I've been to, so that would be really cool. But we are going to be uh, filling this journal out too, probably a as soon as we go to the zoo, I'll have the urge to open this one up. And then I have a fourth one that my mom gave me for my birthday. Isn't it beautiful? My mom as an artist is very, very, very particular about what she gives people as gifts. And she searched everywhere for the just right journal to get me. Um, and this one is like one of the fanciest journals I have ever seen. And it lays flat, which I think is the most awesome thing. That's gonna make it so much easier to write in. That's why I prefer spiral journals is because I like to flip them and lay them flat so I can write in them easier. And this one doesn't spiral, but because it lays so perfectly flat from the spine, it's gonna be totally easy to write in. See, and that's the kind of quality stuff I wanna think about when I try to make you guys joy journals too. To me, it's less important about the profit margin, and, and the reason I can know about those things and talk about those things, by the way, is because my family has run their own businesses for like three generations. <laughs> So I was raised packing things in boxes and printing labels and thinking about ratios and profit margins and actually I have been to conventions as a child, craft conventions, that my parents took me to because there was no babysitter and so then you had to sit under the table and play quietly with your coloring books for hours while your parents sold pattern designs and looked over paper swatches. So that was my childhood. I'll talk about that when my parents used to run a scrapbook store and my grandparents used to run a toll supply craft store uh, through their own like like house and I think my grandparents rented a warehouse 
So I do have a lot of experience with self-employed businesses selling merchandise. I just have never used it for myself. So anyway, enough about profit margins, more about quality of the kind of stuff one day I hope to be able to reflect on and think about giving you guys so that when you hold something in your hands, and this is a gorgeous journal, I really, really love the style, the design, I really am, of course, my mother's daughter, uh, an artist, an artist, 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 artist daughter. Art on my maternal line goes back for ages. Look at that, even the, the pages are colored. So I doubt this was very cheap, but I really love the quality and I really, now I'm like in business mode because I've been thinking about the patron too. It's about community series, not business, so it's okay. But I really like this, and I'm very excited. I think this is the first one I want to fill out. I'm also a little intimidated because it's so nice. But I think going to Taiwan with the love of my life and having that kind of big adventure with the support of my community and the excitement of sharing the entire event with thousands of people in the world, that's a big enough reason to put my pin down in this journal. So those are my joy journals, and I am working on reviewing the patron. I feel better after a nap, and I am going to um, relax with this delicious soup in this adorable cat mug that Chips has made for us. So it's moving into close to midnight my time now, which means it's almost noon in Taiwan. Good time to be awake and perky, in other words. <laughs> so I'm going to do more work, and I'm just feeling a lot better. So thank you guys for listening to my rambles over the last few days. I do feel a little bit bad about, it almost is like whining about success, but that's not what it is. And I feel comfortable being that, um, you know, exposed and honest with you guys over how it feels. How when you're like, oh cool, my channel's doing really well. Oh hey, I was able to pay off my student loans. Whoa, I can feed my family every month. When you hit that level, I wish somebody had told me that there might be a little bit of extra thinking you want to do about with, okay, now you feel stable in life, and what do you want to do to have significance in life? And yeah, I just quoted um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective Families and People, which are some of the most transformational, amazing books ever. And thank you, by the way, to you guys who have mentioned some really awesome productivity books. I am going to be looking those over and getting them on my Kindle so to read on the plane. And I will see you guys in the morning because I'm feeling a lot better. My heart feels better and I napped and somebody on the vlog channel, I don't have it pulled up right now, thank you person who said, Siri, remember, you with a weakened immune system need to rest a lot, and I haven't been resting enough, and I think that's what Terry reminded me, because there's so much going on, and I'm so excited to do so much, but I will try to kind of rein it in a little bit and rest some more. So thank you so much for caring about me so much, you guys. I hope you can turn that kind generosity around towards yourselves for the day too, and to those around you. And I promise, just like cultivating a joy journal, it, cultivating that kind of kindness towards yourself and others will change your life. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.